हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस डिस्कस नेक्स्ट टॉपिक रिलेटेड टू हाई वोल्टेज इंजीनियरिंग दैट इज प्रैक्टिकल कंसिडरेशन इन यूजिंग गैस फॉर इंसुलेशन पर्पस सो इट्स दिस हेडिंग गिव्स यू एन आइडिया अबाउट द अप्लीकेशन ऑफ गैस सो फर्स्ट application of gas that is for insulation purpose other than insulation the gas can also be used in electrical appliances or electrical protective devices for arc quenching whatever an arc is formed between the contacts of say circuit breaker that is been extinguished and the extinction of an arc is takes place due to the gas which is present in between the contacts of the circuit breaker or electrodes so this gas can be practically preferred in the appliances or devices to insulate the system or to quench an arc but before using or adopting a particular gas there is need to understand what the gas does what its composition is and what the factors that influence its performance so these questions are to be answered before considering any particular gas for the purpose of insulation or arc quenching even there are certain properties that may not be followed by all the gases but those properties are very very important and it must be there in the gas so the first property is high dielectric strength it is also represented as a breakdown strength this breakdown strength is given by the equation breakdown voltage to the distance so the supply voltage given between the two electrodes which attains the ionization and hence the breakdown so the point at which the breakdown of the insulating gas occurs that is called as breakdown voltage and depends on that distance the breakdown strength or dielectric strength can be calculated that is what the practical approach to this particular dielectric strength so this gas must have the high dielectric strength second it should be thermally stable and chemically inactive so whatever may be the change in the properties takes place there should not be affect on the gas that gas must be stable or rather it must absorb that heat so that that gas is stable during change in the temperature even it should not participate in the chemical reaction or whatever may be the change in parameters it should not affect on the gas chemical reactions if it is so we can say that that particular gas is non flammable means if there is no chemical effect on it then we can say it is non flammable another point is if it is non flammable it means it is a physiological inertness it means whenever that gas finds the changes in the parameters that gas doesn't support or doesn't affect on the heart and hemoglobin of the operator or a person so it should be non toxic and anesthetic it should have a low temperature of condensation means the conversion of gas into the liquid it should have a good heat transfer the transfer of heat must be takes place whenever there is a formation of an arc that particular gas should be readily available whenever it is required for the purpose of the application or 
that is the need of a device then that gas must be readily available last property that is the low cost or a moderate rate whenever there is need to purchase the gas that gas should be available at low cost or moderate rate so these properties should be there with the gases which are generally practically considered for the application no need that particular gas should have all the properties but maximum properties must be there with the gas nowadays if i just compare the next slide that is this particular table so this table gives me an idea about the gases different gases which we have like air nitrogen hydrogen carbon tetrafluoride hexafluoroethane perfluoropropane perfluorobutane perfluoroenbutane sf6 and when this sf6 gas of say 30% in volume mixed with 70% in volume of air then that makes that air 100% it means the dielectric strength get increased as compared to the air which is used alone so this not only reduces the requirement of the sf6 gas with the cost but also increases the dielectric strength of the air so with the help of air the dielectric strength can be doubled only by using a 30% of the sf6 gas individually this sf6 gas has a dielectric strength of 2.5 then we have next gas that is freon 12 so for all those gases this these properties are mentioned in the table so what why sf6 is basically preferred the sf6 gas is preferred because of the high dielectric strength then it has a high rate of electron attachment so it means the dielectric strength of the gas is high we can say the breakdown strength is high it also called as the electro negative gas because it has that attachment affinity like it it has a property to attach the moving electron in between the gap of the electrode between the gap of the electrode so therefore this gas is also referred as electro negative gas so this has high dielectric strength at the same time it has a low liquefaction temperature then this range of the gas is wide means a gas a single gas can be used for many number of breakdowns in the device so it has a wide range of operating condition at the same time it has a excellent arc quenching property and therefore this gas can be used and have a high breakdown strength excellent arc quenching property and it is a electro negative gas so therefore this particular gas is preferred in cables in ct current transformer in pt potential transformer also called as voltage transformer cb circuit breakers and even in metal enclosed substations the substations which are metal enclosed in that also that gas can be used to insulate the substation so this particular sf6 gas nowadays practically adopted and used due to its properties and the mentioned properties as high breakdown strength excellent arc quenching and electro negative gas 
So this is what the practical considerations in using gas for insulation purpose. So thank you so much guys. Take care.